In this illustration, we intend to obtain the natural frequencies of two degree of freedom system using the Abacus Software and Mechanical Vibrations book. In this problem, M1 is equal to 10 kilograms, M2 is 1 kilogram, K1 is 30 newton per meter, K2 is 5 newton per meter, and K3 is equal to 0. In this problem, C1, C2, and C3 dampers are all equal to 0, meaning that there is no damper in the system. Actually, this system only includes mass and spring. This problem has been selected from Mechanical Vibrations book by Rao. You can observe the two degree of freedom system in this picture. Here the problem statement can be observed. Here you can see the process of solving this problem. And now we intend to simulate that in the Abacus software and then compare the results obtained from the Abacus, Abacus software with those of the Mechanical Vibrations book. I will click on Create part. I'll select 3D, then Deformable. Here, select Point and Continue. I will enter the first point equal to 0, 0, 0. In the next step, I'll click on Tools menu select datum. Here select offset from point. Select this point and enter offset equal to 0 0.10 0 and 0. Then select this point and enter Offset equal to negative 0 0.1, 0, and 0. In fact, these three points are left side support, M1 and M2, respectively. In the next step, uh, I will enter assembly module. Click on create instance and OK. I will click on Tools menu, select Reference Point, select this point, then this one. In the next step, I will enter Step module, click on Create Step. Here, select Linear Perturbation, then select Frequency, Continue. Here, Number of eigenvalues requested. Uh, we should enter the number of natural frequencies. Since in this problem, as uh, there is two degrees of freedom system, uh, we can only calculate two natural frequencies of the model. Actually, since this system is two degrees of freedom, so system only has two natural frequencies. I will enter Interaction Module, click on Special Menu, select Inertia, then Create. Here, I will select Point Mass Inertia option and Continue. I will select this reference point, Done. M1 is equal to 10 kilograms. I will click on Special Menu again, select Inertia and Create. Continue, select this point, Done. 
M2 is equal to 1 kilogram. In the next step, uh, we should define the springs in the Abacus software. Here, K1 is equal to 30 newton per meter. K2 is equal to 5 newton per meter. And K3 is equal to 0. I will click on Special Menu, select Springs Dash Pots, then Create. Here, I will select connect two points option and continue first select this point then this one done k1 is equal to 30 newton per meter here i will enter spring stiffness equal to 30 newton per meter and okay i will click on special menu again select springs dash pots then create continue first Select this point, then this one, done. K2 is equal to 5 newton per meter. And OK. Since in this problem K3 is equal to 0, we won't need to define that in the Abacus software. In this problem, C1, C2, and C3 are equal to 0. And so we, we will not need to define damper. Actually, this model only includes spring and mass. In the next step, I'll enter load module. Click on create boundary condition. Select displacement rotation and continue. I will select this point done and close the boundary conditions of displacement for it. In the next step, I'll click on Create Boundary Condition, Continue. Select this point and this and this one. Done. Close all boundary conditions of displacement for it, except U1. I will enter job module. Click on create job. The analysis was done successfully, so I click on Result. As previously mentioned, the purpose of this problem is calculating the natural frequencies of the system. Since this system is two degree of freedom, it only has two natural frequencies. One is for the M1 and the other one is related to M2. This problem has been solved in Mechanical Vib Vibrations book and here the process of solving can be observed. Here, omega 1 to the power of 2 is equal to 2.5 and omega 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 6. 
Actually, omega-1 and omega-2 are angular natural frequencies. In the next step, in order to calculate omega-1 and omega-2, we'll only need to calculate the square root of omega to the power of 2, and the unit of omega is radian per second. Here, I'll click on Result, then select Step Frame. Here you can observe the quantities of omega to the power of 2. Omega 1 to the power of 2 is equal to 2.5 and omega 2 to the power of 2 is equal to 6. As you observe, the results obtained from the Abacus software are exactly concordant to those in the Mechanical Vibrations book. In fact, in order to calculate omega 1 and omega 2, we'll only need to calculate the square roots of 2.5 and 6. Omega 1 is equal to 1,500. Uh, 11. And uh, omega 2 is equal to 2.4494. In the Abacus software, in addition to calculation of, of omega to the power of 2, the natural frequency has been calculated as well. Here you can observe the quantity of the natural frequency, the unit of which is hertz, as you are aware. Actually, the first natural frequency of the system is equal to 0 0.2516 Hertz. And the second natural frequency of the system is equal to 0.3898 Hertz. You can use this formula for calculating F, and that is omega uh, is equal uh, to 2 pi f f1 is equal to 0 0.2516 200, hertz and f2 is equal to 0 0.3898 hertz here the results obtained from the abacus software are quite concordant with those gained from analytical solution